Focal Fondo is July 23rd this year up in beautiful Fort Collins, Colorado, and there are four distances to choose from. Everything from the 12 mile safe routes for school family route, which goes on bike paths, up to the premier distance, 118 miles, which starts with a big loop out on the plains, on the rollers, and then takes you up into the mountains across a section of ranch that is only accessible during the event up into the beautiful National Forest. Today I'm out here with the race founders and race organizers, Whitney and Zach Allison, and our friend Michael Cantor to show you all the good times and beautiful scenery that you're in for this July 23rd. Foco Fondo began in 2015. It was founded by Zach, my husband, and his friend Jake Arnold and they used it as a way to kind of explore some new routes because it was getting kind of boring just doing all the same road riding routes all the time for road race training and at the beginning it was mostly a hide a cooler in a ditch sort of scenario and so it's pretty fun that it's grown into what it has now when we started Foco Fondo, I sort of envisioned like a huge training group where like we're riding places without water we're pushing the limits of our like road bikes with our, the fattest tire we can fit on there, so like a 28, to maybe a 20, maybe a 30 millimeter tire. And I feel like we were on the right side of the wave, or like we were waiting for the wave of gravel to come, and we didn't realize how big of a wave we were paddling into. We have grown as promoters with the event growing, which I think is you know probably one of the definitions of grassroots too. Even if now we don't consider our own event grassroots, it's still. Um, really fun to have the event grow from, you know, coolers in a ditch at the halfway point and, you know, mom's baking muffins and stuff for the finish line to like where we're at now at the event. The courses all kind of go out the same direction. They all go east out of town first. Um, I feel like Foco Fondo is one of the larger events from a larger medium sized city. Most of like these really big gravel events are from really small towns, really rural towns, which make it a lot easier to promote that event, but we're really lucky with how New Belgium, our venue is situated at, kind of on the edge of town. So we have a few miles of pavement to get out east of I-25 and each of the three longer routes, the 35, 50 and 118 all go east first. They go out into the rolling hills on a bluff that's just east of Fort Collins um, and everything kind of makes its way north. The 35 and 50, come back west clear across town north of Wellington and then south back to Fort Collins where the 118 mile route continues very far northwest to do this Cherokee Park loop that we're at right now. Yeah, as someone who moved to Fort Collins pretty recently, the riding is, is pretty exceptional. To be able to have access to the plains out in that direction, but then to also have the mountains in the other direction, uh, which in my opinion are just a lot more fun. Given the landscape out here and how Fort Collins just sits on the cusp of the foothills and the plains in northeastern Colorado, um, you're going to get to experience the best of both worlds. We are on the Foco Fondo long route, 118 miles for 2023. This is the private property Roberts Ranch sector. This is the turnoff onto Double Track. 100% um, of the year, minus that one day on Foco Fondo day, it has very large, very scary looking cows on it. So um, stay off until Foco Fondo Day. Um, but huge thank you to Zach Thode and the Roberts Ranch for letting us pass on this sector under 287, keeping everyone safe and off the highway and out to the awesome Western Loop, west and north of Fort Collins. We are in the Red Feather Lakes area. So it's just Northwest of Fort Collins. A lot of the roads out here are gravel. So the first road that you go up on the 118 mile route is a pretty common road for like camping and other sort of outdoor activities. So it does see a bit more traffic and it can have some brake ruts in it, but overall it's pretty fast and smooth. And then from there, we jet off on some B roads that are a little bit less maintained and have a lot less traffic. And so then you arrive at the top and now you're in Switzerland here and you're gonna fall out of the sky on this pretty epic, uh, not super used road. The 
But what's the tire choice? Not the specific model necessarily, but yeah. Skinny, fat, knobby. We're pitching like a really fast gravel tire. So like something like a 36 Volpine designed for like hard pack. You're gonna average, you know, the lead group's gonna average over 18, 19 miles an hour. So it's like, you don't want anything too bulky. There's nothing really big to flat on. And you want to just roll fast and have something lighter for the climbs. Now, right now this road, now that I'm saying I'm jinxing us, I'm gonna say this road is smooth as butter. Yeah. A lot, of these, a lot of these roads are so, so well groomed. We just pass some trucks blading the road, laying down matte chloride to tamp down the dust. Is that typical for July also? Yeah, it gets a little bit chunkier and more like camping and and people are active up here and driving around, but it really doesn't get much worse than this. And we have to seek out the B roads, which is like nice that we do that by choice instead of making the whole route <laughs> that way. And then from the top, there's a really fun descent, but it does get really chunky. So you do have to sort of mitigate your light or heavy tire choice on a couple fun downhill, bigger, harsher gravel sections. July in Fort Collins is often pretty warm. Um, last year, we actually had probably the coolest July Foco Fondo ever. Um, but with that being said, it's normally in the 80s, I would say, maybe peaking above uh, 90. And then what's pretty common in Colorado is you usually have a small afternoon thunderstorm that blows through. It's maybe like five or 10 minutes. Um, that's just something to be aware of. There's really not a whole lot that you can do about it. So the aid stations um, are put together each by a different volunteer organization or group. The nitty gritty of it is kind of wild when you're like, okay, we're going to to have 2,000 people roll through aid one. If everyone, you know, on average wants 48 ounces of water, then we're gonna need 380 gallons of water. <laughs> so how do you bring 380 gallons of water to a place in the middle of nowhere without a spigot? Um, but the aid stations are really well stocked. So aid one is 20 miles in. A lot of people on the long route will kind of blow that. Aid two um, <clears throat> on the long route is going to be on the way out Park Creek by Park Creek Reservoir. Um, so you can kind of refuel as you get ready to head up the, this really long climb. And then the um, second to last aid station, aid three on the long course is gonna be at this Vista uh, right behind me on the county road. Um, and then the last aid station, which also serves as the second aid station in the 50 mile is on the way back into town. And then there's the ever partying oasis that is with five miles to go. So. If you're going for a bolo tie time, be careful of how long you dilly-dally at the Oasis. Um, but hopefully you went fast enough to be able to grab a beer, send it off a launch ramp, um, check out the BB gun uh, biathlon course and make it back in time for a bolo tie. At Foco Fondo, there's definitely a lot of people that are racing. We do have a $9,000 prize purse split between men, women and non-binary riders. Um, beyond that, we also have the bolo tie times on the 118. Um, ben will provide an update on those times because we still have to figure that out. So we do have a lot of people that go for that and that is uh, a really large source of pride for people to complete the route under the designated time for that. And then beyond that, like, you know, it probably is about 50% of riders that will do the long route that will be going for completion and that's pretty badass too. I think one of my favorite parts about Foco Fondo is we end up being a lot of people's firsts. So I think a lot of that comes from like the training ride series that we do that's free for the community from January to July. But we try to help people um, kind of be able to push their limits and enjoy riding in this new way and discover something about themselves. Focal Fondo packs a lot of great location into the routes themselves, but there's also the great location of the start, finish, and the after party. That's here at New Belgium on the northeast corner of Fort Collins. New Belgium, as you may know, brews Fat Tire, Ranger IPA, and many other tasty beverages. You can take tours here, you can do tastings. Today, John Yeast is giving us a tour of the Carney Shop, the Santa's Workshop of Tour de Fat, among other bike festivities. 
Tour de Fad is a costume bicycle parade that spontaneously erupts into a party that benefits local bike nonprofits. Uh, and by local bike nonprofits, I'm talking about specifically here in Fort Collins, Overland Mountain Bike Association, Bike Fort Collins, uh, Fort Collins Bike Co-op, and Centown Bike Club. And ultimately, those uh, four nonprofits benefit from beer sales at the event. And over the course of 21 plus years, Tour de Fad has helped raise over $8 million in uh, funds for local bike nonprofits. This is part workshop, uh, part museum, uh, part art display, and then part functionality. This is a laboratory. Uh, this is where we get a chance to build a lot of the stuff that we go on the road with. The art bikes, or freak bikes, um, as they're sometimes called, these were created as, as uh, an opportunity for people to find the joy of riding a bicycle again. And so you get an opportunity to, to try new things. So bikes are just in our DNA. I mean, it starts with uh, having a bicycle on the bottle of Fat Tire. Uh, we were created on a bicycle in 1991 when Jeff Liebisch and Kim Jordan started New Belgium Brewing. Uh, they really, truly believed in uh, sustainability and, and looking out for the environment and the world around us. And so uh, supporting bicycle culture, supporting bike riding with you know, financial dollars, I think that's what's really kind of pushed us uh, to uh, create Tour de Fat and to really support larger organizations that are doing what, what we can't. I mean, you know, bringing beer to the party is, is one thing, but uh, the League of American Bicyclists and People for Bikes and IMBA, and the International Mountain Bike Association, they're the ones that are actually um, walking the talk, and, and so we're trying to support them as best we can. Um, and also those local, local organizations. Vocal Fondo is July 23. You can find out all the details and sign up to participate at focalfondo.com. Hope to see you here in Fort Collins. And like the cruiser bike says here at New Belgium, enjoy the ride. <laughs>